Good morning, everyone that is watching us in this point in time. My name is Kenan Rusike, and I'm coming to you from JCTV Africa, Gambaku Media, and Matabeleden Television Live. We are broadcasting here from Johannesburg, South Africa. And the breaking news is Pius Jamba has been arrested, and the police have released a statement. So we want to find out uh, what is happening, and you all know what happened in the past week. Uh, the body of more blessing Ali was found in a well in Nyatsimi area in Chitungwiza. And this has angered a lot of people and a lot of things have happened in the interim. We saw people touching houses and everything, but that's not the subject of, of now. We want to focus on the arrest of Pius Jamba. What does it mean for the two warring parties that we are seeing in Zimbabwe, which is Triple C and ZANU PF? So uh, I've decided to call out on people that are in the youth wing uh, from Triple C. I'm joined on the line uh, uh, with Stephen Chuma, or known as General Sarkozy. And on the other side, I'm also joined by Gugu Nube, who is not uh, a, a new new person on this program. She has always been coming on the on the show, and uh, we want to dissect this uh, update that has been given by the police. What does it mean? For the general public and of Zimbabwe, and what do we they want to see happening to pass Jamba uh, in this uh, murder case? So I want to welcome the two. Uh, Gugu, welcome to the show. Gugu, can you hear me? Google seems to be struggling. Uh, Stephen Chuma, can you come in? Uh, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Greetings, everyone. My name is Stephen Chuma, as you have heard. Okay. Tell us your thoughts on the arrest of Pius Jamba. I remember uh, two days back, uh, the vice chairperson for, for uh, the chairperson for Triple C, uh, Mr. Job Wiwaskala, was saying that they will not uh, bury more blessing until they are developments on the arrest of the suspect. What do you think about this arrest that has been done by the police? What is your thoughts on that? Uh, the arrest of uh, Pius Jamba, of course. Uh, okay, I can, we can hear you. Go ahead. The arrest of Pius Jamba, of course, we welcome it. We really welcome it, but, that, but arrest alone is not enough. Uh, history has taught us, and the, the events of the past have taught us, we have seen what happened to killers of Monen Nure in Kwebe. They were briefly arrested, and thereafter, nothing, nothing happened. Those people are, are now free. They are now also caused in Afo, in the same area that they killed the Monen Nure. And we know that this may be, might be a public stunt, a public relations stunt by Zetherapy, Yes, they have arrested Yamba, but what we want to see uh, is justice being served. We don't want to see a situation whereby uh, the therapy says they have, uh, they have arrested Yamba today. In the next few weeks, we'll see Yamba uh, free, terrorizing uh, citizens again in his community. So our call to the Zimbabwe Republic Police is that uh, let the law take its course uh, we want to see Jamba behind bars, and the person is very clear uh, to what happened when somebody kills a person, a person kills a person, the person is very clear that that person should uh, have severe penalties. We have seen innocent people like last Mayanga Rama and Tungamere Matsukere spending close to 10 years on charge of of murder. But the real criminals who are affiliated with the ZANPF, when they kill, uh, they only go to prison uh, for two, three days or some few weeks. Then the next thing, they are out. We don't want such a situation. And also our message is that now that Jamba has been arrested, now it is time to release our innocent leaders, the likes of Job Scala and the uh, Godfrey Karaka that I stole. Because you all know that these people are innocent. All the way I was forgetting was to say, police, can you please arrest a murderous, a murderous person? They call the Jamba. We also call upon uh, for the Republic, uh, for the Zimbabwe Republic Police to arrest the co accused, the accomplices. We know them. Sibaj Sango, the half brother of Pais uh, Jamba, is still out there. But we know that 
All right. Um, just before I let Gugu come in, I wanted to ask you, um, the people from ZANPF are accusing you, Triple C, of politicizing this whole issue, and they are saying it's just an issue of simple domestic violence. Uh, but let me not speak for myself. I want to ask Gugu to come in. Gugu Nube, uh, are you back now? Yes, thank you so much, uh, comrades. Good morning to you and good morning to the viewers. I hope I'm clear my network is not so good, so probably I will be in and out. Bear with me there. Uh, okay. Yes, uh, I'm actually so disappointed because when this matter actually started, Triple uh, C already accused ZANU-PF and said ZANU-PF must bring back more blessing early. They started politicizing the matter and I issued out a warning statement. I said, Zimbabwe, hold on a minute. Stop politicizing this matter. The moment you politicize this matter, already you are dividing Zimbabweans. And we are not speaking in one voice anymore. I find that very disturbing when it comes to issues like this one, the issues of gender-based violence. I expected Zimbabweans to have a common ground and say, look, this is not a political matter. It's an issue between a girlfriend and her ex-boyfriend. It's a matter of gender-based violence. Let's come together as Zimbabweans, as one, and speak in one voice. I found that very disturbing that um, even now, when people are saying the police took time, uh, can I, I can tell you, I've been engaging with the police structures in Zimbabwe as usual when such cases happen. I can tell you that I've been pushing the police and the police have been doing their best. Each and every lead that they were getting, the police were following it. I'm actually very grateful for their effort that they made. They finally made the arrest today. And I want to say to Zimbabweans, when a case like this one happens, we do not need to politicize. Remember when a person is kidnapped, the kidnapper has got nothing to lose. You have got everything to lose. And if you look at cases that have happened in South Africa, you will remember of the Monte brothers. The government negotiated. When you negotiate with the kidnapper, you are not uh, saying there is no case. You are not saying um, the kidnapper is right, but you know what is at stake. So the triple C people, were actually so much misled. And when they politicized this matter, and bear in mind, wherever the kidnapper will be, the kidnapper will be following, in most cases, the kidnapper will be following the updates that we are doing from the outside world, right? Now, when you politicize that matter, you are scaring and intimidating the kidnapper. In this case, he had nothing to lose. He killed a more blessing. Whether he killed him or her or not, that is now another case because this is a criminal case. And I want to say to Triple C, please don't rush. Linga Kijimi, this is a criminal case. The fact that he was seen last seen with more blessing doesn't make him a murderer. Remember, a criminal case has to be proven beyond reasonable doubt. So let's wait for the courts. We all pray that he be proven um, uh, beyond reasonable doubt that he is a murderer. Thank you. All right. Uh, Stephen, you wanted to come in. Can you come in? You wanted to say yes, something? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I want to come in, but uh, I just want to know where, where, where do you stay, my sister? Where, 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 where do you stay? What is the significance of my, my, my what is the significance of asking that uh, my location, uh, say, if I can ask? No, it doesn't matter where I'm based. It doesn't make me less of a Zimbabwean. I have solved so many, so many cases from where I am, cases that you cannot even solve yourself. So you cannot come here and be telling me where I'm based. Where I'm based, it doesn't make any, any, it doesn't make any difference. You have also failed to solve so many cases. You have, there is a case right now in Blawai of okay, a woman okay. who has been murdered. Um, okay. None of you can solve that case. You are failing to intervene there. There is a child who has been missing on, since December. On, None on. of you can, can intervene. Hold on, hold on. I wanted you to speak one at a time so that we can have a conversation. Uh, you were, uh, uh, General Sarkozy, you are asking the question, um, where does Google Nube stay? What, what, what is it in context with what we are saying? I wanted to find out that so that uh, the Google can respond. Yeah. Okay, can I'm you, can you, can you, can you? I'm trying to say it's very dangerous to utter reckless statements 
on things that people don't know. Isuku not is to Chitumbisa, which is a strong straw to Nyatime. We went to Nyatime, uh, I think two days after more blessing was abducted on a fact finding mission. And what we established is that more blessing Ali was killed on, because on political grounds. More blessing Ali was killed after it was realized that uh, Ali was supporting Triple C. After it was realized that Ali is a member of Triple C. So I'm saying, when Google speaks, she's, she's speaking not from a, a, a position of having information about what really happened, but Google is speaking on, on position that was given by Nick Mangbala. And surprisingly, the position of Nick Mangbala uh, is exactly the same position with the ZRP. So you see now the connection of ZRPF. And, 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 and the police in trying to downplay the issue of political uh, involvement in the more blessing Ali issue. We all know that uh, Jamba is a ZANPF member. We all know that Simba Chisango is a ZANPF member. We, uh, we have seen audios and we have seen videos where ZANPF officials in, 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 in Yatime were vehemently uh, defending Jamba and Chisango were vehemently absolving uh, the ZANPF of the Jamba and Chisango from the criminal activity, from the abduction of more blessing Ali. When people say uh, 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 there won't be a funeral of more blessing Ali in this, in, in, in this community because she's triple C, then the next thing you say this thing is not politically motivated. What is that? All right. Can you allow Gugu to respond? Respond, um, um, Gugu. What is your thoughts on that? Uh, you know. Saying? He's saying you that, know, uh, uh, okay, go ahead, go ahead. You, you know, it's so disturbing when people are going to come out and lie clearly to the world. First of all, I'm going to uh, uh, draw you. There is a list of um, uh, Nyatsime uh, members of ZANU PF. More blessing has got a signature there in the in our Nyatsime uh, uh, branch. More blessing is actually a member of ZANU PF. She was a, a fully a, a paid member of ZANU PF in good standing. So when now uh, uh, you you don't interrupt me, I I actually um Mr. Kenan, can I not be interrupted? Can I not be interrupted? Can I not be interrupted? I allowed him to speak. Can I not be interrupted? Can I not be interrupted? Can I not be interrupted? I allowed him to finish. Unless can you protect this conversation, Kenan? Can you protect I, I this understand. conversation or else I just walk away because it means nothing to me if I'm going to come here and be interrupted. I'm not going to allow okay. that to but happen. I, I, I do understand uh, your frustration, Stephen, but allow Google to finish so that we can have a conversation. Otherwise, it would, it defeats the purpose. So let's uh, let it allow to finish just like as I've allowed you, uh, she has allowed you to finish, uh, allowed you to finish. Can you um, allow it to, to make a, a statement, please? Now, uh, I want to confirm to the world, more blessing Ali is a member of ZANU PF in our Nyatime branch there. More, more blessing Ali has got her signature in our list of members there. So when Triple C are coming out claiming uh, her membership, that's fine. We are not going to argue on that basis. We've got a list to prove that. Number two, when you are saying uh, the police did not move fast and the police already knew where Pius jump, where Pius is. The police didn't know where Pius is. Nobody knew where Pius is. Even Advocate Mahere herself, he did, she didn't know where Pius is. We were all looking for Pius. And if when you knew where Pius was, you were supposed to walk into a police station and hold the police and take them to the location of Pius than to come out here and, uh, and make um, unfounded statements to the world. Now, if you are saying, Nick Mangwana is conniving with ZRP. That is so disturbing because not so long, UCCC, you were even coming out saying the police are voting uh, against the ZANU PF. And Jiggy Jiggy, today the police are standing with ZANU PF. You know, CCC is a group of confused people. That is why your leaders are always in and out of the courts as accused people. Right now, we had your leader, Job Sikala, inciting violence there. And you were coming out saying he must not be arrested. This is the kind of a, a, a so called government in waiting that you are heavy. And let me tell you, uh, Stephen, the fact that I'm out of the country doesn't make me less of a Zimbabwean. 
I have solved, solved so many, so many cases of gender-based violence from where I am. Cases that you are even scared to even talk about. Cases that you are ignoring. Right now, there is a child who has been missing since December. None of you is talking about him, but you are there on the ground. And I'm out here. Already, I'm working with the police to track uh, what happened to that child. There is a woman who was killed last week in Blawayo by her lover. You are quiet when I am CCC because that woman there, it does not give you political mileage. That is why you are prioritizing more blessing cases because it goes with political gains and political fame. So on the ground there, make yourself useful. Be a useful political party. Stop peddling lies. You say it, police are against ZANU PF. Now you are standing here saying the police are, um, are working with ZANU PF. I find that very disturbing. All right. You, you have made your point. Let's let's now move to the next point of, of this discussion. Now that the arrest has been made, uh, you are uh, from the Triple C, um, uh, General Sarkozy, you are saying that you want to see more arrests. You are not confident that this is going to happen. Uh, the, you, you gave us an example uh, uh, of what happened in Kwekwe, uh, of the killers of Mbonen Nguibe. What do you expect now going forth uh, from the justice system? What do you expect uh, from ZANU-PF? What do you expect to happen even to your leaders? You are calling on the leaders uh, to, be, to be released. What is your expectation now? Uh, now that um, uh, you have laid out your case, what do you expect the justice system to do in uh, henceforth? Stephen, are you there? Stephen, are you still there? Stephen? Stephen? I'm struggling to hear Stephen. Google. Um, uh, we are trying to, to get uh, uh, Stephen to come back, but what do you expect? Uh, you were here on Sunday and you were saying that the um, we expect the justice system to act uh, on, on this issue or to make an example because of this callous murder. What do you expect going forward from the justice system now that this has happened? And what do you want the people, the women in your party to do in order to support uh, um, uh, the women that are finding themselves in a similar situation like more blessing? First of all, um, as a... Just hold on, Google. Yeah, I can hear you. Just hold on, Google. Just hold on, Google. Ah, Stephen is okay. back. Okay, right. go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, Stephen. Go ahead, we can hear you. Hello? We can hear you, go ahead. Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. Stephen, we can hear you. Go ahead. Make your statement. All right. We are still struggling. Let me try to get back again, uh, Stephen. Okay, Google, you can make your statement. I expect justice to take uh, uh, its course. Um, I expect whoever made that more blessing Ali to be, uh, you know, convicted. I expect a conviction. However, I want to say to the triple C people, this is a criminal matter. Don't be so much in a rush to say, yes, indeed, Pius killed more blessing. The fact that Pius was seen with more blessing does not automatically say Pius killed more blessing. I hope you understand me clearly what I'm saying there. I'm not saying Pius did not or did kill more blessing. I'm saying we need to move forward bearing in mind that this is a criminal case and people must, when a, a Pius is not convicted, people must not come out here and make noise for us. I even saw some other people saying, why is ED in Victoria Falls when more blessing died? More blessing died and ED must do his work. ED is working for Zimbabwe and Zimbabweans need his services. And ED cannot stop working because more blessing died. We, as much as we want justice, as much as we want the truth to come out, but triple C people need to be very careful how they handle their matters. On what I'm expecting from women in my party, Kenan, 
this is so difficult. I want to say to you, this is very difficult. Women in my party are already the accused people. They have already been labeled as murderers. So for, for me to even go to them and say, women, please do one, two, three, four. They tell me, Kuku, we are the accused here. The Zanu PF, everybody in Zanu PF has already been called a murderer. You supporting murderers, blah, 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 blah. So we are standing as murderers. As much as we feel the pain as women, we pray and we hope for justice to, to be a, a, a saved. That's all that I can say now. Can you hear me, Kenan? Okay, we are still trying to get hold of uh, Stephen Chuma to be part of this conversation, but I want to pick up some of the questions that are being uh, asked by uh, viewers so that you can uh, probably answer them. I would have loved to have uh, Stephen Chuma answer all these questions. It seems like his line is, is still uh, having trouble, but we keep on trying. Uh, so to all the viewers, uh, someone was asking, where is he tied Zamara? What happened? And one of the things that you are saying, uh, Gugu, that I probably wanted to ask is that you are saying uh, the fact that uh, Pius Jamba is the one that was last seen, according to the statement from the police, does not mean that he is the one who is who was responsible for the murder of mm -hmm. um, of of, uh, of more blessing. My question is. Are you not already exonerating this man in the event that then uh, they say we cannot find enough evidence to pin Pius Jamba because he was the last person to be seen with more blessing? Are you not already exonerating him and causing public panic and, and thinking that the justice system is not going to do anything? Are you not making reckless statement uh, to, 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 to that regard? Um, that's my question to you, Gugu. Um, uh, can I make this statement um, very conscious of what it means and uh, the weight it carries? We are dealing okay. with a criminal matter, and in a criminal case, the state has to prove beyond reasonable doubt that pious killed more blessing. And I am saying this. Because there are a lot of questions. If you look at the case of Tapiwa, is it Tapiwa Makore? Yes. The, the, the young boy who was beheaded. Now, yes. the, the people that have been accused of killing him, they are being represented now by one of the very finest uh, uh, lawyers we have in Zimbabwe, Munya Rex. When Munya Rex takes a case, it means he saw the loopholes to say, no, 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 hold on a minute. Everyone believes that these people killed the young boy, but I see one, two, three, four, and I'm going to go and argue it before the magistrate and hear what the magistrate say, says. Now, this is a case of Pius uh, Jamba. I'm not saying, and I want to be clear, uh, Kenan, I'm not saying Pius killed more blessing. Neither am I saying Pius did not kill more blessing. I am saying, as a society, we need to maneuver this case, bearing in mind that this is a criminal case. It has to be proved beyond reasonable doubt and bearing in mind that we are all innocent until we are proven guilty. It will be premature of us to conclude that Pius uh, Jamba made that more blessing before uh, the matter has been decided by the court. And I want to appeal to people out there to say, let's maneuver in this case carefully. Let's give the court the time to make its job. Our courts are trusted. They are credible. And I trust that whoever killed more blessing will be brought to book. There is nobody above the law in Zimbabwe. I trust the justice system. Thank All you. Right. All right. Uh, on that case, uh, we are going to wrap the, this up because it just was just an update and the reactions from the both political parties. Um, I want to come back to what you said about uh, the president. Surely, you saw what happened here in South Africa during the 2020 when there was the issue of the murder 
uh, that happened. The, um, uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to, 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 to bring the, the name, but the president in his address, when he was addressing the issue of COVID-19, he actually mentioned this. Surely a statement from the president would have, you know, sent a, I mean, uh, a clear message, one, to the people that are doing domestic violence, just to say we have a scourge of domestic violence, it needs to be addressed. Surely the president would have done that just for 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 a case that has been uh, before us for the past three weeks and the president says nothing. Don't you think that it says something to the general public? Kenan, you cannot conclude that the president has said nothing. How long did it take Cyril Ramaphosa to, to come out and make a statement about gender-based violence. I want to give you an example. When I made my protest at the union building, it took Cyril Ramaphosa two months to engage my legal team about the gender-based violence that I had experienced at UNISA. When we went for a conference uh, at um, uh, uh, St. George's Hotel um, uh, for gender-based violence, it took Cyril Ramaphosa the whole month to come out and address us as women in South Africa. When we protested as women uh, and went to the union buildings, we stayed out there until it was 10, 11 p.m. And now we took out, we took off our blouses and now we we're threatening to also take off our trousers. That's what it took for Cyril Ramaphosa to come out and address us as girl children in the middle of the night, by the way, when we were there at the union building. Now, you're talking of ED. This case of uh, more blessing is less than a man. It's less than a man. ED cannot, one, take the law into his hands. ED cannot prematurely come out while the police are still investigating, prematurely come out and he might disturb the investigations of the case. Nonetheless, I want to say to the public, I have made that uh, a comment to the president and I have asked the president, said, Mr. President, come out. We need your word. Mr. President, come out. And I can tell you, the president listens. When I talk in cases of gender-based violence, the president listens. The office of the president has taken note of that. However, I've got a problem when people were expecting ED not to go and work and do his duties that we employed him for in Victoria Falls and attend to this matter. I'm not saying this matter is not important, but it, it is important. At the same time, ED has to do his jobs that we employed him for. Otherwise, come the end of the month, we are not going to pay ED. So his family also has to eat. He must work. At the same time, bearing in mind that he needs to address this matter. I can assure you out there, the general public, the president is going to address the issues of gender-based violence. The president's office has taken note of our voices. The president is not undermining the issue of more blessings, Ali. The president is not undermining the voices of any woman, any child, anybody in Zimbabwe. The president will definitely come out and say a word. That I can assure you. I've had communications with his office. And I can assure you, Zimbabwe, the president is taking note of your cries. The president is taking note of your voices. Thank you so much, um, Kenan. All right. Um, maybe, maybe the last two questions that I would want to, to pose to you as we, as we wrap, wrap up <laughs> this um, is that uh, you have said that the, uh, the, uh, you have seen what has happened in the past, in the past two days, that Job Scala has been arrested. Uh, for inciting public, uh, for inciting violence, and mm -hmm. his arrest. Uh, we also saw that the the house of a ward councillor in in the same area was touched, which we condemn in the strongest terms. But what we have not seen is the ZAN PF um, youths have also retaliated, and none of them have been arrested. And I have a video of this uh, of the ZAN PF youths. Uh, taking up arms in front of a riot police uh, um, uh, truck. What do you say about that? Because you are, you, your party is saying that we don't condone violence. We are not a violent party. Why is it that they are 
we are seeing leaders from the triple c being arrested but we're not seeing leaders from the zambia yeah. side getting arrested for inciting violence because we saw other houses being torched what do you what what is your comment on that uh thank you so much that's a very important question to me number one you spoke of the issue of jobs colors arrest jobs colors arrest i support it he deserved it we cannot have somebody a lawmaker for that matter inciting violence we cannot have a lawmaker sitting in our parliament um threatening our citizens it, it cannot be that way in zimbabwe we can't have that so the arrest of job scala is very good for me i hope that the court denies but, but, him but, the just, bail just, just hold on just hold on there i, I wanted to uh, because i listened to to his statements and he was saying that we are not going to rest until we are not going to to uh to bury um he More actually blessing. said we are going to revenge what is to revenge we are going to revenge and these people this family is going to perish one after the other this family will not be there uh, soon this family will not be able to stay in this place this is a lawmaker in our honorable parliament what is so honorable about an honorable member who threatens the very citizens that he is supposed to be protecting in this case, Job Sikala was um, he 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 was uh, negligent. His statement was very negligent. As much as we are all angry, a woman has been killed, children are left without a mother. But Job Sikala was negligent. And as Ukugu, my prayer is, I hope the court denies him bail. I hope they keep him in there, so that this is a lesson to everybody else who is going to incite violence out there so that this is a lesson to any member of parliament any lawmaker who is going to to try to be uh, um, uh, uh, and so negligent and incite violence you spoke about zanu pf people not getting arrested the person that i saw carrying a firearm a picture that is circulating the person is not in the public space the person is in his house. He was probably cleaning his firearm. And hey, well, fine. I also have a firearm here. When I'm cleaning it, I can take a picture of myself. The fact that my son or myself sends a firearm to my brother or somebody and my brother circulates that firearm, it, that uh, picture, it is not a crime. There is no crime committed there. He did not point a firearm at anybody. That is one thing that Zimbabweans need to take note of. If there are any ZANU PF members who have committed a crime out there, go to the police, report them, take that video to the police, point at them and say, Police, look at this video. Here is Kuku, here is uh, 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 Mutisi, here is uh, 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 George, here is uh, 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 Nick Mangwana. We will get arrested. There is nobody above the law in Zimbabwe. People have all, always argued that ZANU PF members are not getting arrested. I've got ZANU PF members that I know that are at Chikurubi. So I find that very disturbing and very appalling. I take it as an effort to, to tarnish the image of the country. I don't know why people are pushing so much uh, such propaganda. And yeah, I okay. can't wait okay. for the patriotic bill. Okay. Um, but one might actually say that uh, we have uh, also one Dexter Nduna who is um, a parliamentarian from Chegutu who said in parliament that he has killed so many people that he can't he can't remember the number of those people that he killed he said it in parliament and he said that I will make you disappear to Temba Mliswa but no arrest was made how, how do you how do you then balance the two that someone from ZANPF is an MP he is saying all those reckless statements in in parliament where people elected him to be and mind you if we look at uh, the zec uh mm -hmm. numbers it shows that dexter Nduna is not supposed to be in parliament the triple c, uh, the mdc triple c uh, mp uh numbers uh, poured more numbers than dexter Nduna. however he is making those statements in parliament but he has never faced any jail term or has never been arrested or denied bail as you are saying that you want to happen to to, to job scala surely that shows 
some kind of bias. There is no bias here. You see, it's very interesting when people just make comments when they don't know the laws of our country. Sometimes I just laugh and I don't even waste my time commenting on um, uh, such statements that are being made from the uh, point of not knowing the law. If that honorable member made a statement in parliament, if any parliamentarian was not happy with that statement, they know the procedure. The law says but, 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 the but, but, parliamentarians but on, cannot on. be arrested on, for the Google. statements on, they have made in parliament. Hold on, Google. I am saying this person made a, a statement in public. That is job scale. According to you, I'm still yet to see that video. But this person made a, a statement in public and the police were swift to arrest him. That's what, what exactly what, what I'm trying to explain to you. That's I'm the difference that I'm trying why, to draw why does to you. It have to be the, the government has to, I mean, the police, why did they have, they have to move swiftly on job scala, but they did not move swiftly on Dexter and Duna. That is my question. That's that exactly the point that I'm trying to uh, uh, clarify to you. The reason why the police did not move swiftly is because Dexter made the statement in parliament and parliamentarians cannot be arrested for the statements they make in parliament. That is the law. The triple C uh, lawmakers know that very well. If they were not happy with Dexter Nduna's um, statement that he made in parliament, they know the procedure. They were supposed to escalate the matter with the speaker of parliament and stop bringing it out here, misleading Zimbabweans. Now, why did Job Scala get arrested? Job Scala made a statement in public. He was not in parliament. Should Jobsikala have said the words he said in parliament, he was not going to get arrested by the police. So people need to draw, to know that Jobsikala made a statement in public. He's not protected by the parliamentary rules and regulations. Dexter Nduna made a statement in parliament. He is protected by the rules and regulations of the parliament. And if any of the parliamentarians were not happy with Dexter Nduna's statement, they were supposed to make a formal complaint to the Speaker of Parliament. I hope I have answered you there. Now you right. also pointed that Dexter Nduna was not supposed to be an honorable member. There is a difference when people are going to be whining on social media and not follow procedure. They are not going to get anywhere. If you feel, anybody out there who feels that Dexter Nduna is not supposed to be in Parliament, there are protocols to follow, there are procedures. I've never seen any of the so-called people who have written formal complaints. There is, there is nobody, but people are complaining outside. So you see, if uh, you are complaining outside, even Honorable uh, 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 Justice uh, Chikumba cannot listen to the complaints you are making on social media. Make a formal complaint, write it down, come to me and say, Gugu, I've made a formal complaint. Here is my copy received on this date. Follow it up for me. Help me be heard. I will help you to be heard. But if you're going to whine on social media, I'll just look at you also and say, oh, okay, this is probably one of those propagandas that the triple C is spreading around to tarnish the image of the country. Thank you. All right. We, we are going to, uh, to, to close it now uh, here, um, but I'm going to, let me just, I'll be doing injustice if I don't read some of the questions. There is someone here who is asking, um, mm -hmm. I see here, uh, let me just read the comment which was up here. He was saying that, um, uh, Chris Penmube is saying that, uh, he's, he's talking about uh, the vice president saying that uh, we are going to crush the opposition like lies. And this is a matter that is on public domain. Why hasn't the, the, the president called out this or any action been done to the vice president? I think that is the question from Chris Penmube. What is your this comment? Statement, you... This statement was taken out of context and used as propaganda as usual. When people came out complaining about this statement, I went back to that footage. The vice president was talking in the context of elections that we are going to bash them. We are going, basically, when I say to you, 
We are going to kill you next year in 2023. That is not a crime. There is no crime that has been committed there. Now look okay. at the context can... in which the statement was said and look at the context in which Jobs Color said that statement. People need to, context, to, to look at in what context were those words said and stop taking the words out of context. Okay, but don't you think that Jobs Color was also referring to the same that we are going to revenge in terms of winning the elections or uh, fighting <laughs> in the justice system. Don't you think that Job I'm Zikala just was talking? Job Zikala was talking in the context of violence, in the context of murder of uh, more blessing Ali. That is the context that he was talking um, uh, best on. The VP was talking in the context of elections. So people need not to mix up cases. This is the reason why uh, the cases that Triple C takes to court, they don't win. Because they take the matters out of context. And when they get to court, they budge. These are the questions. These are the loopholes that the judges, the magistrates look at. And, you know, it be just becomes a waste of time. And, you know, just are looking for publicity, which we need to stop. We need to be factual. We have seen Fazai Mahere herself posting contradicting statements. He po she posted something, open pali, came out and contradicted her. And you, you see these lies that people are uh, spread to tarnish the image of the country. And um, I'm, I'm very disturbed that the patriotic bill is taking forever to come because we cannot have people, uh, you know, degrading Zimbabwe out there. It, it's just so appalling. All right. Uh, unfortunately, we have to leave it there, Gugu. Um, I definitely want to have uh, to engage you on this one with uh, Mr. Chris, uh, Mr. Mr. Stephen Choma, uh, so that we can have a balanced conversation. I was now ending up asking the question that he was supposed to be bringing on. However, thank you so much for coming to the show. Hopefully, we are going to have that engagement soon as this case is developing. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much, comrade, for having me. All right, sure. That was Gugu Nube giving us her side of the story on the case of the arrest made by the police on Pius Jamba. Uh, I saw some of your comments. You were saying that I should play the video of um, uh, of Dexter Nduna. Definitely, we're going to do that. We didn't want to digress much uh, on the issue. Uh, so definitely, I want to check your comments and what you were saying. Patriotic bill does, doesn't like democracy. That is another issue. Uh, the issue of patriotic bill, I think we need to talk about that one day. Um, it is a very, very important issue. Um, then let me see, Vuyan uh, Mlongwa, how are you? He's saying that Nenzeka Ika Maleli Kulona Ela Keli Kiniso. That is Vuyan uh, Mlongwa. Thank you for that. Uh, Scala said, some, uh, said something and the houses were burned. But also, there were houses that were burned by Zanpf. So, what do you say about that? None of the people were uh, arrested. Anyway, I think that is all that I have for you. Today, it's June 16 here in South Africa. People are celebrating youth, uh, youth, a youth day uh, where the young people uh, ra uh, rise up in Soweto. And the brutal apartheid regime went and killed some of the students. And we remember that that this is uh, the young people of Zimbabwe. Are you going to emulate something from the young people of, of 1976, the youths of 1976? Are you going to find something, find some strength to be uh, counted like the youth of 1976 and face your fears uh, and register to vote in 2023? And if you are not happy with any situation, you have to take it upon yourself and act upon it. On that note, I want to say to the viewers of Gambakwe Media and also viewers of Matabellion TV and JCTV Africa, thank you. This was a simulcast, and I hope to see you in the near future when we talk about other interesting issues. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.